I'm going to show you how to use the stamping kit. So the original stamping kit comes with three stamping plates. You have the Retro Romance, which is oops, plate number one. Summer Style, which is plate number two. And Animal Patterns, which is plate number three. You also get three stamping gels, white, black, and gold. You get the stamper, which has two different ends on it, a large and a small. You get two scrapers, a thick one and a thinner one. And you get replacement silicone ends. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to do this and um, make it a little bit easier. So the first thing I like to do is get ready for it because this silicone stamper, when we go to remove the gel from it, we don't want to use any cleansers or remover pads because we will wreck our silicone ends. I found this out the hard way. So I just get a piece of uh, duct tape or clear tape, which I found from another distributor, Sylvia. Roll it up and just leave it over to the side so that when I'm ready, I can just clean it off. Put it more in the view here. We'll do, let's try some pink. So all of this gel, when it comes, it's really a good idea to knead it because it can actually separate. So the gel is a little bit thicker than the polish, which is better to use on the stamping plate. So it makes it easier for transfer. So I'm going to do these lips. So I just put a little bead along here. You can always put more if you need. And then I use the scraper and scrape down to get into the holes. If you notice your scraper is leaving a lot of lines, which it will probably start to do after a while. So I'll, I scrape a few times trying to get as much off. What you can do is take your gel moment file. I just use the uh, 220 side and actually just, here I'll do it over here. Just move this out of the way. You can actually just buff the sides of it to get rid, rid of any ridges. And then I'll, I would clean that with a cleanser pad. So that's what you can do. Well, actually, I just realized I do not have, bring my plate back in view here. I do not have, yeah, there we go. The bottom lips filled in, which I probably won't need anyways, but you can put more in here if needed. It looks like I need a little bit more to get the bottom here. back the other way if you're finding you're not getting the pattern filled in. Okay. So then sometimes I'll just use a wipe for now to wipe off my scraper, but I will I will wipe it off with a cleanser pad at the very end. So then we'll take our stamper and depending on what nail you use um, or how big your nail is, you can use either the large end or the small end to show you. So I just put it on here and roll it across. And you'll see you get this nice pattern on here. If you're not happy with this, you could always wipe this or stamp it or stamp it off on the um, tape. But I'm happy with how that looks. And we're going to put that on this nail here. So I'm just gonna roll it across my finger and you'll see we get it on our finger as well as our nail. So then I take a nail cleanser to clean it off. And we'll save the nail cleanser be because we can use it to clean up our plate. Oops, and I got on my finger here too. So then usually I just wipe around here. You could also use, um, I use a makeup brush a lot when I'm painting um, to clean up around my nails and cuticles. You could use that as well with some alcohol. That would work. Oops, and I just, oh well, that's okay. Good enough. We'll just go around here and you can see I accidentally touched that, but that's okay. So then once we have it on, we're going to cure it for the 45 seconds. While we're curing that, I'll take this tape and the stamper plate and I'm just going to stamp off the gel onto the sticky tape actually a really good idea it comes off super clean I 
just get it all off. And as you can see, we're ready to use it again. So again, do not use the Gentle Care Removers or even the nail cleansers on this silicone. It will eat it away. Okay, so now that that's done, um, it could still be a little bit tacky. So then what I do is I put a clear over top. I have a clear that I use for my glitters and chromes. So I have a little C on it because it's already got some sparkle in it, which you may be able to see in a minute. Then we'll just, that's a little much. We'll put some clear over top. Make sure we cap the edge. And then cure that. Now to clean off the plate, I usually just use the same cleanser pad that I had. You can use the gentle care removers as well, but I'll usually just use the, the same, oops, you can't really even see that. Um, remover pad, sometimes it takes a couple depending on what color and you know what you're actually cleaning. You know, the lips were a lot of area, so. I have tried to use wipes before, as you can see, these are not lint, oops, sorry. These are not lint free. So if you try to use the wipes, you'll get a lot of lint on here. So you could get the worst of it, I suppose, but I will always follow up with a cleanser pad. And there's our final product, good to go. So I always follow up with a cleanser pad just to clean it off because I wanna get all that lint out of there. That's one awesome thing about these cleanser pads, they are lint free. So I just wipe it all down. And then you can put it back in the package it comes in, which is, you can put it back in here. But what I've actually done with mine, I got a stamping kit book and labeled mine. So then my number one, is a retro romance and I put it in here. So that's what I did with mine so that I can look through them all and see what I have and what I want to use. It works great. And I think I got this off of Mixology, but if you're interested in that, let me know and I can find the link.